and welcome back from that short break. I'm really happy to have this discussion with our guest today. We have really listed a couple of things, the challenges she went through in primary school, in high school, in college. We have really talked about a lot of things and now we're really happy because of the achievements that we have made. I hope we've gotten everything clear and we're not going to just forget everything. Now I want to know if she even wants to charge, if she even goes to church and the house she gets to learn. Because sometimes if we go to church and our preacher gets to preach something, we tend to go back home and forget. Sometimes hearing people can say, where are you going to Mombasa? And when, when you show them the sign, they tend to forget. Please, if we are teaching something, let's not just forget it and put it away. So if maybe in your home area, you can even join a team or a driver or someone about something. And sometimes it gets to be hectic. But as we continue learning, it becomes easier for us to get the words which you get to learn in sign language and we never ever get to forget them. So if you really need to have a good and easy communication or create for you yourself some opportunities, then it's better. When we're learning the language, we don't get to forget it because uh, sometimes it gets to be difficult when and it makes people stuck. And... If something is happening, then it becomes so easier for us to have a nice conversation. Now, let me go back to our guest where she can share with us any concerns that she has at heart. And you can tell our viewers something, share an advice to them. Okay, thank you once again, Ruth, for that. And thank you for, you know, talking about the suffering that afflicts the deaf in the education system you know I, I i came here with the aim of encouraging others to you know the deaf community specifically to be able to you know continue with their education and i want to thank ruth so much for this exciting discussion because very many people think that the deaf normally focus on sports pol politics but it is important to also you know focus on how ways of improving your lives we as the deaf community we need to be near with each other and, uh, so that we can grow together thank you so much because remember uh, as well again at the deaf we are one one team and one tribe thank you ruth for the invite for getting me here at science tv to in the classroom show to talk about this important discussion but i believe we will continue with this discussion not once but not twice but very many times so that you know we can be able to put or share out this information and as you can see this is a testament that you know the deaf can also do interviews just as the hearing people as well and we can we now have platforms to share our concerns Thank you so much, Ruth. Ruth, and may God bless I'm you. really, you really, my heart is really melted from everything that she has actually just said. Everything which you've said has just been nice, and I'm really happy to hear those words from you. And I'm really happy because of the motivation that you're giving to show that interviews can be done for the deaf people out here. And we can share that with everyone out here. So I would like to even discuss other guests. To, I'll be calling other guests who will be joining us to discuss the challenges that deaf people are going through in school. So I'm so happy. And You're I hope God is going to bless you so much to continue creating all these opportunities for yourself. I'm really happy for you. As you continue with the journey, I really wish you all the best and I wish these beautiful girls all the best. Now we've come to the end of our show today with our guest. I know she's going to be going home. I hope she travels safely. And uh, as you go back to meet your family, I hope they are all well. So thank you so much for joining us here at Science TV. I have been your host, Ruth Barimo, and this has been the Classroom Show, where we get to discuss matters on education. This is my sign name, and my sign language interpreter voicing is Esther Candy, and my other interpreter. 
We're going to have another interpreter, Gideon, and other science TV interpreters joining us for the voice interpretation.